Yeah, it's you know going to be exciting. Obviously, you know this is a team that um, has had our number, has had every every team's number, you know, the last couple of years. So um, obviously, it's always a battle against these guys, and um, you know we're up for the challenge, and everyone's excited in there. Did you watch the game last night? A little excitement, trying to figure out who you guys were playing. I mean, two tough teams. Um, obviously, game sevens you can go anyway. Um, obviously, Toronto had a you know outstanding season as well, and they're a tough team, but. Um, you know, in, in the end, obviously, I think a lot of guys, you know, wanted to play this team and, um, you know, it is what it is. Um, they had a good game last night and, you know, move forward. This is where we're ready for. The other day, Bruno called uh, Gus Forsling Mr. Fix-It, just because it seems like he would put him anywhere. What, what's he been like for, for this team, the addition, you know, not the addition, but just him being able to be so versatile? Yeah, he's been great. I think you just said it there, versatile. Um, you know, he moves his feet well. Um, you can put him in any situation. He, he plays well. And, um, you know, solid in his own end, but also in the offense. Then he, you know, he, he he can get up in the play, get get join the rush, and uh, make some plays in the ozone too. So all over the ice, it's you know great to have him on our side. One of the lasting stick, one of the pictures I had, or lasting memories of the, the Tampa Bay series last year was you smiling, having a good time. I mean, you seem to really enjoy playing Tampa Bay, right? That style, that physical. Yeah, you know, I think. Yeah, for me, it's, you know, obviously when you play teams like that, but I think for me, I, I enjoy playing every game. So, you know, no matter who it is, whether it was Toronto or Tampa, um, it's playoffs too. Um, you got to enjoy the moment. You got to enjoy where you are and, um, you know, cherish, you know, every time you get on the ice. What are the biggest takeaways for you guys as a group coming off the series win against Washington? Obviously, it was a series that saw a little bit of everything. Yeah, you know, they're a challenging team. They, they played us well. Um, obviously, you know, I think there's a couple games there where we'd like to, you know, clean some things up. But um, as the series went on, I think we got better and um, kind of got more to our game. And um, but you know, uh, some overtime wins there. Some big guys came up to, to step up and, and get us those wins. And um, but you know, it's on to the next round and uh, focus on that now. Did you like how much you know physicality you guys showed in that series? Obviously, things tighten up in the playoffs. Capitals brought a, a ton of physical play to the ice. Did you like? Just the way, the, the, kind of that gritty style on occasion that you have to play in the postseason. Yeah, I think we can play, you know, any style that's, you know, come to us. And, um, you know, a team like that, they're always in your face. Tampa's going to be the same way. They're going to be in your face. They're going to be right on top of you, it feels. But, um, you know, we got to play that, you know, to our advantage and, and keep doing the same thing. And um, we should be good there. Braden Point is a question mark for the series after he had a leg injury last night. You guys know how good he is from when you guys have played against him. Does that kind of change the dynamic of things a little bit with him kind of being the question mark? Uh, I mean, he's he's a good he's a great player, you know, in our league. Um, you know, whether he plays or not, I don't think you know we're focused on one one player, you know, specifically. But um, you know, they're they got a whole team over there that's obviously proved it the last couple of years. So um, you know, whether he's in the lineup or not, um, we'll focus that you know when when the time comes. And um, but you know focus on ourselves and um, what we have to do. Mark, you said the other night that after game three, you guys like, like maybe had players only meeting or something like that. Just, I don't know, what can you kind of tell us about that and, and how that, I mean, you guys won three in a row after that, so it seemed to work. Yeah, I think it's just, you know, we kind of got away from um, our game a little bit. Uh, you know, just guys speaking up, see, seeing what their thoughts are uh, outside of, you know, the coaches and, you know, the media has to say and stuff like that. It's, you know, obviously we all, you know, love each other in there, um, respect everybody's opinions. And, um, you know, it's good to kind of just get together and um, kind of sh share thoughts and what everyone ha has to say. Do you think that watching this series really helped you guys? I mean, it wasn't really maybe game two, but even then, it really wasn't an easy game. That's, I think that's how you got to win games now. You know, the games aren't going to be, you know, 6-1, 7-1, 7-3. You know, it's going to be tight games from here on out. You know, obviously every team has strategies and, you know, how to defend us or um, vice versa. So, uh, you know, it was a challenge. Obviously, you know, we got the upper hand there and um, we're focusing on the next next one here. Does winning a series against a team like Washington that, you know, won the cup, kind of similar to the Lightning, does that help going into a series like this, knowing how to beat a team? Uh, I, I mean... Yeah, no, I guess obviously they have some veterans there that, you know, know how to win, know how to close out some, some games. And, um, you know, that just comes with experience that they have. But uh, I think we've played these teams enough. We've played Tampa enough. We know their, you know, personnel and what they're all about, uh, as they do. So um, it's going to be a challenge, but, you know, we're up for it. Big question from the Zoom. Mike Pasquale, Channel 7, WSPN. Thank you. Hey, Monty, before game six, Bruno, some of your teammates said the key against the Capitals in that game would be to get off to a fast start first five minutes to set the tone. Would you agree that's going to be the key against Tampa right out of the gate, considering 
the way they like to play physical, the way they like to bait you into fighting. Yeah, for sure. I think it's one thing where um, I think last series we, we started off a little slow in some games there. But uh, if you're not, you know, ready for um, these games coming up here, uh, you know, um, there's not re no really reason to, to not be. So uh, I think everybody's kind of amped up to, you know, get started here. If I could follow up, the last three games of Washington, the Capitals out hit you because they wanted to play that physical style. Do you anticipate Tampa taking that same pace from that playbook against you guys? Because we saw that in the playoffs last year. Yeah, you know, it's going to be physical. Uh, I think that's one thing that obviously t uh, Washington, and, you know, thought they, they can, you know, play us hard and kind of get us out of our game. But um, I've told a lot of people, I think we can play any any style. Um, if they want to hard, play hard and, uh, you know, be physical, we can do that right back. So um, I think it just makes our game that much stronger. They speak for, Thank you, they, they speak for how much they rely on Vasilevsky. But, I mean, you got elite five in, in, in this series. Just like, what's, what's the confidence level you guys have right now? Yeah, he's been doing it all year. Um, we got all the confidence with both our goalies there. Um, he's, you know, so steady back there and makes some big time safe. So, uh, you know, it keeps us calm. Um, he's obviously reliable back there. And, um, you know, we're happy to you know that he's on his game. Are there like noticeable differences with him this year? Because obviously last year the playoffs did not go well for him. But like said, all year long, it just seems like he's been... Yeah, I, I mean... I wasn't here that much last year, so it's fairly new. I think he might have played one or two games there at the end of the playoffs. But, um, you know, for goalies, it's, you know, obviously he's, he comes to the rink every day, the same attitude, you know, positive, positive guy. Um, whether he's playing well or not, I think, you know, when I noticed that, you know, whoever was in that, he was supporting, you know, that, that guy. And um, obviously last year we had three solid, you know, net minders back there. But, um, I think he just came in positive attitude, kept working on his game. He's the hardest worker I've I've seen, you know, on the ice, and um, how he takes care of his body. So it, it's good to you know see him, you know, get recognized and you know back to his game. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks,